Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Ari Hyoanjay Melissa Gorga suffers heartbreaking loss. Ari Hyoanjay star Melissa Gorga has suffered a heartbreaking loss. She and her husband, Joe Gorga, shared this devastating news on their social media a short time ago. So what happened to the couple? Keep reading for all of the details. During season 14 of RHONJ, Melissa Gorga did all that she could to protect her peace. She and her husband, Joe Gorga, did not interact with his sister, OG housewife, Teresa Gudis. They opted not to invite each other to most events, and this ultimately led to the show's downfall. The cast picked sides and mostly stuck to them. Sadly, Bravo and Andy Cohen decided to put the popular reality series on an indefinite hiatus while they figured out their next steps. Ray and Jay may be completely rebooted like Arikyo and I, or they may keep some of the old cast and bring in a few fresh faces to leaven things up. Melissa and Joe sent their daughter, Antonia, off to college and tried to have as much fun as they could. However, it will always be a struggle having the strain of the siblings. Joe wants to honor his late parents, but there's so much unhealthy tension that it is hard. While filming is on hold and no decisions have been made, Melissa and Joe are traveling and building their businesses. Unfortunately, they were dealt a devastating blow and just shared it on their respective Instagram accounts. A young boy named Landon Reed whom they were very close to, has passed away. He was just two years old and had Gaucher disease. It is a genetic disorder where fat-laden Gaucher cells build up in areas like the spleen, liver, and bone marrow. There is a slideshow of photos of Melissa holding him from the time he was a baby, Joe by her side. She adored him, they both did as he paid tribute to Landon as well. Lyndon Reed did not just touch the hearts of Joe and Melissa Gorga, but other RHONJ ladies loved him just as much. Rachel Fuda shared a photo of him and Dolores Catania sent these sentiments. We will all miss this angel. Sweet Lyndon rest in peace angel. Danielle Cabral had this to say. Sweet angel rest in paradise. Margaret Josephs followed it up with this. Sweet Angel Landon forever in our hearts. Other housewives from different franchises chimed in as well. Luan de Lesseps. So sorry for your loss. Heather Debro. Gretchen Rossi. It is clear Landon left an imprint on everyone's heart that he came in contact with and those who just saw his sweet face. May he rest in paradise and may the love being sent heal all who knew and loved him. Melissa Gorga, the vivacious and stylish star of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, has always shown the world her fierce spirit, her unwavering loyalty to her family, and her tenacity when life throws challenges her way. Yet beneath the glitz of reality TV and the laughter-filled family gatherings, Melissa recently found herself grappling with a profound and personal loss that left her in an emotional whirlwind, sending shockwaves not just through her own household, but through her tight-knit circle of fans and friends. It all began on a seemingly ordinary morning in Franklin Lakes. The sun shimmered through the large bay windows of the Gorga Mansion, painting the spacious rooms with streaks of gold. The scent of freshly brewed coffee mingled with the faint sound of Joe's cheerful whistling as he flipped pancakes for their three kids. But Melissa's mind was elsewhere. She scrolled through her phone, sipping from her oversized cup, her bright eyes clouded with concern. It was a rare sight to see her distracted, even before her first sip of caffeine. Melissa had been waiting on news regarding her beloved dog, Luna, who had been taken to the vet a few days prior. Luna, a small, sprightly Maltese with fur as white as the first snowfall of winter, had been Melissa's shadow for nearly a decade. From the chaotic mornings filled with wardrobe changes and school drop-offs to the quiet, late-night conversations in the living room, when the world seemed a little too overwhelming, Luna had always been there, 
her tail wagging and eyes full of unspoken understanding. As she waited for the vet's call, the pit of unease in her stomach grew deeper. Melissa's phone finally buzzed, snapping her out of her trance. The vet's voice was compassionate but heavy, delivering the news that no pet owner ever wants to hear. Luna's condition had taken a sudden turn, and she had passed away overnight due to unforeseen complications. The weight of the words crushed Melissa, and a wave of disbelief swept over her. No, she whispered, her voice quivering. Joe, sensing something was wrong, set down the spatula and moved to her side. The moment his eyes met hers, he understood. Melissa didn't have to explain. They had been through so much together. From heated family feuds to triumphs on the show, and now another moment of grief. Tears pooled in her eyes as she recalled the day they first brought Luna home. It was a surprise for their daughter, Antonia, who had been begging for a puppy. Luna, with her tiny yips and playful antics, had fit seamlessly into their chaotic lifestyle. She was there when they hosted grand parties, her small frame darting under guests' feet. She was there when Melissa first stepped into the spotlight of RHO and AJ, offering silent support as the cameras captured the best and worst moments of their lives. News of Luna's passing quickly reached Melissa's closest friends and co-stars. Teresa Gudis, despite their well-documented ups and downs, was among the first to call. Their relationship had been a roller coaster over the years, a mix of shared family ties and fiery arguments that often blurred the line between love and rivalry. Yet in this moment, Teresa's voice was soft, offering condolences that resonated with genuine sympathy. Melissa, I'm so sorry, Teresa said. I know how much Luna meant to you. If you need anything, I'm here. It was a simple offer, but one that reminded Melissa that even the most complicated relationships held moments of humanity. She found solace in it, a small flame of comfort flickering within the storm of her sadness. The days that followed were surreal. The Gorga household, usually filled with lively chatter and laughter, was quieter. Melissa would catch herself looking down to where Luna's bed had been, only to be met with emptiness. The space seemed bigger now, as though the absence of the little dog had created a void that echoed. Antonia took it hard, too. One night, Melissa found her daughter sitting in the backyard, a space where Luna had loved to chase after butterflies. The young girl's eyes were red, glistening with tears as she traced patterns in the dirt with a stick. Mom, do you think Luna knew how much we loved her? Antonia's voice cracked, and Melissa's heart shattered into a thousand pieces. Melissa wrapped her arms around her daughter, the weight of grief making them both feel fragile and small. Yes, sweetheart, she whispered. She knew. She always knew. Joe never wanted to dwell in sadness for too long, tried to lift the spirits of his family by suggesting a small memorial for Luna. It was a simple gathering, just the family and a few close friends. They sat together in the garden, sharing stories about Luna's escapades, the time she knocked over a vase during filming, how she always barked at the delivery man, or the time she fell asleep in one of Melissa's designer purses, much to her amusement. Melissa spoke last. Her voice was steady, yet there was a quiver that hinted at the rawness of her emotions. Luna was more than just a pet. She was part of our family. She reminded us to take a break, to breathe, to laugh even when things felt impossible. And though she's gone, the love she brought into this house will stay with us. Always. There were tears and laughter, a bittersweet cocktail of emotions that left everyone feeling both hollowed out and somehow full. When the last story had been told, Joe gently placed a small plaque at the base of Luna's favorite tree. It read, Luna, forever in our hearts. As the sun dipped behind the horizon, casting a warm, golden glow over the garden, Melissa sat back, hand in Joe's, eyes on the plaque. 
The pain was still there, sharp and unyielding, but there was also gratitude. Gratitude for the memories, for the time they had, and for the love that even loss couldn't take away. Melissa knew that life would move forward. There would be more days in front of the camera, more arguments, reconciliations, and everything else that came with being a Gorga. But in her heart, there would always be a small, paw-shaped imprint, a reminder of Luna and the way she had brightened their lives, no matter how fleeting her time with them had been.